Hi, I'm Mark Jackson. And I'm Mike Rosso. Today we're here to talk about the Gaja Achille machine. Uh, it's actually named after Achille Gaja, who was considered to be the father of espresso. He invented the first modern espresso machine. The neat thing about this machine is, and uh, by the way, these are the same original type handles that Gaja Achille put on the first espresso machine. So it's kind of a uh, cool retro thing to it, actually. And the term pulling a shot actually comes from these machines because what you do is, and we'll show you shortly, you go ahead, you lift the handle, and then you're going to go ahead and push down. And you're, well, That's the way you brew the espresso you extract. It's by pulling a shot. It's actually kind of fun to do, and it's, uh, it's a traditional method to do it. Um, the other neat thing about this machine is the fact that it is... Uh, a little bit different than anything else we sell. So what we'll do is we're going to go through the machine here in some detail. And go ahead, Mike. Okay. I'll point over on this side. We have, we have our pressure gauge here, and we have a sight glass for when you do fill the machine. You fill the water. We'll go over specifics later, but in between the two lines there. And down the front, you have a stainless steel drip tray and a removable drip tray. And then this is sealed so you can wipe it out <clears throat> for easy cleaning. It's a brushed uh, aluminum stainless steel housing. It's got a brass chrome-plated 58-millimeter port filter, very heavy. And again, like Mark said, it's got the original style handles. It's got a brass chrome-plated brew group. It's got a steam wand with the Panarella steam wand on it. Easy open and shut knob here. And a power switch on the side, uh, on and off position. On, uh, light will come on red when it's heating, and when it's ready to use, it'll, it'll turn up green. And then we have a 28-ounce uh, reservoir, a 28-ounce boiler, and a cup tray in the back. What we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move, the mice going to go ahead and remove the water reservoir, and what we're going to do is kind of walk you through the startup of the machine. This is a pressure cap right here. You don't want to do this while this is hot, okay? It's a pressurized cap, almost like a, well, like a pressurized boiler um, or a pressure cooker on a stove. So you don't want to remove that when it's hot. But while it's cool, this would return. You'd, you'd turn this and you'd fill your boiler. And again, we'll go back here to the sight glass. And on the sight glass, there's a minimum and maximum. So you're going to add water there, and you're going to get it between the minimum and the maximum on the sight glass. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the reservoir back on. Now, the neat thing is, is this is truly a heat exchange machine. And what that means is when I'm brewing shots, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking water from the reservoir like any other heat exchange machine, and I'm going to be drawing the water down through the heat exchanger and out the group head. So that's what this does, and it's gonna, it's just gonna constantly give me water as I need it, basically for pulling my shots. The other thing about this machine is when you start it up, we're gonna fill that up, we're gonna turn our switch on. It takes probably about, you probably want about 12 to 15 minutes to let it get up to temperature, and then what you'll see is your ready light will come on. Uh, and another nice thing about this, this is uh, the Panarella one, which we're all familiar with. There is a hole there. What that does is that makes cappuccino frothing very easy. Now, for the people out there that like to make lattes, the nice thing is the Gaja Latte Art Panarella one, which we've done videos on and talked about before, is available and will also fit on this machine. So you can do that if you prefer to make a latte, which is actually kind of nice. Now, the other thing that you want to be aware of is that, like with any heat exchange machine, before, and I'll show you in a minute, before I pull a shot, if the machine's been sitting for a long period of time, what you are going to do is you're going to basically want to do what's called a cooling flush. It's a very simple thing to do. So if the machine's been on for a long period of time, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take water, and it's going to go through the heat exchanger. Now the water in the heat exchanger is probably going to be hotter than I want it to be for my optimum brew temperature for espresso. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lift the handle, the retro handle, mind you. I'm going to lift the handle and I'm going to pull it down. And as you can see, what's going to happen is I'm just going to get some water out of the group head, okay? And that will be my cooling flush. And what that will do is that's going to get the very hot water that I don't want in the heat exchanger out of the heat exchanger. It's going to reload it, and then I can go ahead and brew my shot. Now, the other thing is if the machine, you just turn it on, what you might want to do, uh, since it's brass and it's a very good heat retention thing, you might want to go ahead and just run some hot water for it before you brew your first espresso as well. Okay, and you can do that the same way. Um, so should we go ahead and brew a shot? Now we're going to go ahead and brew a shot with our Gaja Achille. I'm going to go ahead and take my 58 millimeter pour filter. I'm going to load it up using my Gaja MDF grinder. Now, before I brew, what I want to do is I'm going to make sure I run a cooling shot. Now, it may take one or two pulls. 
The whole idea is the water in the heat exchanger, if the machine's been sitting for a while, is probably too hot to brew a great espresso. So I'm just going to go ahead, lift my handle up, and then I'm going to push it down. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep letting it go. You can see the steam coming out until the steam stops. Now, like I said, it may take two times. So, yeah, I still got some steam coming out of there. So I'm just going to go ahead. There we go. Now, I'm all good to go, so I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to brew my shot. My lovely assistant's going to hand me my glasses. That's the ones the way I wear on my face, but the ones that go underneath here. I'm going to go ahead and brew a shot. <clears throat> all I'm going to do is I just need to lift the handle, and that's going to start the brewing process. And what I want to do is I want to just push down with a nice, steady pressure, as you can see. Of course, I like any other espresso machine, you want to make sure you have your grinder dialed in and all those great things. Tamp right, you know, right amount of coffee, all that stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and lift it again. <clears throat> and the whole idea is, this is completely manual, as you can probably tell. I'm going to stop when I get the right amount of coffee in my cup. So, I'm going to, like a double shot. So, I'm going to go to right about there. As you can see... It's kind of fun working on these machines. They actually do brew a very good shot, as you can see. It's nice, lots of great crema, great temperature. Everything should be good on it. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to steam some milk. Okay, now we're going to froth some milk with our gaja at Killy. First thing we do is we're going to purge our steam on. And put our panel roll on right in there. The nice thing about the combination of this boiler and this element is you get unlimited steam. And there you go. All right, now that we got our shots all made, we're just going to go ahead and finish off a drink to kind of end our day here, actually. So I'm going to dump my shots in. Got my milk all ready to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and make myself a nice latte. And I'm not that thirsty, so we're just going to kind of finish it off. There we go. So I'm going to have a latte with me. As always, what we'd like to do is thank you for watching our video on the Gaja Killing, a great machine. And we had a lot of fun using it. We hope you get to watch us again. Again, my name is Mark Jackson. And I'm Mike Rosso. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Come and visit us again.